Hello, hello, everybody. We are at Hollywood Studios today. That's right, we are joining the movies, but not the great movie ride, sadly. Um, we are about to get down Hollywood Boulevard right here, and you can see that the crowd levels are low, so we're hoping to get on everything. Alrighty, we are done with Sunset Boulevard. So we were able to get on Rock and Roller Coaster, meet Aerosmith, hang out backstage, got some free backstage passes, um, but we didn't get to see the intro video. So that of course is not playing because of COVID restrictions. So that is just elongated into part of the uh, line queue. We also were able to get on Tower of Terror. Neither of these rides have very long waits, probably 15 minutes each. Tower of Terror, they're doing the four corners. So nobody on that one too, but then when you are seated, they're seating you in the four corners of the ride. Middle one's not being used. And then all parties are all the way to the left, all the way to the right. So crowd levels at a, a low started raining. So good thing I brought my, my skipper rain jacket. We're gonna head over to Star Wars and see what's going on at Galaxy's Edge. Hopefully we can get into Oga's and get the Outer Rim, my all-time favorite drink there at Oga's Canteen. So stay tuned folks, because we still have a lot more movie magic happening today at Hollywood Studios. Okay folks, this is my first time on Mickey's Runaway Railway. I had a fast pass for this ride on March 16th. The parks closed March 15th. So I cannot wait to climb aboard. Let's go. Okay, we are in Toy Story Land and it is a very empty crowd. We've actually gotten on Toy Story Mania twice and they were walk-ons both times. We did wait in line for Slinky Dog for about 20 minutes. It does say it's a 40 minute wait, but it was much shorter than that. Looking at Woody's Lunchbox, it's closed, but there does appear to be a few other stands like the cold drink stand open. Um, so you can still get your drink on, your sip on, because it's a hot one. So people are definitely going to that stand and fueling up. Okay, the rain has scared away all of Andy's toys. It's deserted here in Toy Story Land. Um, we're going to go on Toy Story Mania for the third time and see if we can get that bear status, folks, because that is the goal of today. We did look at some merchandise so far and we're a little disappointed in that. What I mean by that is the Tower of Terror Minnie Mouse ears that were just released this week are sold out. They were not at the, at the end of Tower of Terror, so we'll keep looking for those, but I don't think they'll have them if they weren't at that store. What we did find was some awesome new merchandise from the Rock and Roller Coaster store, and you know, I bought a tank top, so long live rock and roll. They had a crop top as well, and then another fun tank with some fringe. So, um, fun merchandise there. Disappointed in the Tower of Terror merchandise. Same old merchandise for Toy Story. Not bad, just already have it all. Um, so, we'll keep you posted as we head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. made it to Batu. I am here with the Millennium Falcon looking for Chewy. Obviously with the rain, stormtroopers are not out patrolling the area. Um, we did get to stop and see that they are still selling blue milk and green milk, but no white milk, unfortunately. Um, so we're hanging out here. We're gonna see what else is going on. Again, having a little bit of difficulty finding snacks within the park since a lot of the stands are closed. So I'm hoping that we might get lucky. I don't want to have to settle for blue milk, but I will if I have to. So we'll keep you posted. We're going to get on Smuggler's Run since it's a 20 minute wait. We're going to go save Chewbacca.
after four unsuccessful entrances into the marketplace, we finally found the one entrance. For the health and safety of everyone, please wear a face cover at all times, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose for coffee and seats and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. Right time, Trevor. Come on in. Now just heads up, it is one party per skull. If, you, if there's a party already in the skull, there are lines on the ground and sitting where you can go. Thank you. So the cast member told us there's only one party per stall allowed in. So since I do see some folks in this shop, I'm going to wait right here. But seeing what they have to offer, I'm probably just not even going to wait all together. On to the next stall. Where I've spotted some Baby Yoda. So that concludes our day here at Hollywood Studios with disappointment. We got no snacky snacks. We got no first order fun. Um, but we did get Toy Story Mania five times. I think it might be a record. And I think collectively I only waited five minutes total for those five rides. Um, so that was it. Uh, Runaway Railway was just all right. It was cute. It was whimsical. It wasn't the thrill that I had anticipated. I'm just kidding. I didn't really anticipate it being that thrilling. But it was cute for the kids. There was a really cute Donald scene over at the pier, which Donald's one of my faves. He's squirting mustard on a hot dog. Um, and I really like the Daisy scene as well in there. That was probably my favorite. You go to her dance studio and do some, some dance moves. So we're heading out. That's a wrap on this movie today, folks. We'll see you next time.